Hi, welcome to Calypso Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll see how to set up a multi-language project. Calypso gives you the ability to define all interaction between the application and the user in several languages. The first step is to define those languages in the project's properties. Go to the tab Languages, and as you can see, a project is defined to be in English by default. I'm going to add the French language. If my project was in French, I could now easily copy all values from English to French just by right-clicking and say copy to French. This is not the case, so let's just save it. Let's translate our login plane. In the properties of the exit button, next to the test property, there's a flag. Clicking on it, it opens the multi-language editor where we can input the text in all the defined languages. Let's save. Save, do the same thing, for instance, here in password. I recall it's like this. But imagine that you don't know exactly how to type it. Instead of typing it, you can translate it. All you need to do is set the focus in the source language, right click, and select Translate. So that didn't work exactly as I was expecting, but simply because we didn't input the entire word. So right now, if we try to translate, there you go, mot de passe. So the text was automatically translated due to some settings I've set up, and that I will show you now how I did it. So I'm just going to press save and notice that also this value is going to be updated there. Save, and as you can see, it was updated. And of course, here too. So, if you go to Edit Preferences, go to the Translation tab, and here you can set up your translation engine. You can choose between Google and Bing. They are both paid services, and you need to register yourself in order to use either one of them. The biggest difference at the moment of making this video is that Ping was offering a courtesy limit of 2 million characters per month. So after you register either in Google, either in Bing, just input here your credentials provided in your account. Press save and you're ready to use online translation. Besides the interface, it's also important to translate all the messages displayed to the user. For instance, the one we display to the user when the login fails. So, login, and as you can see, the message box always displays the same text, in this case in English. To translate it, you need to create a multi-language text in your project. So, for our convenience, let's just copy this. And now, you can call the ML text function. Let me search for it here in functions. Here it is, multi-language text. So there's no multi-language text created as you can see, so press the edit button, add. So we paste the English value. Now we can simply type it in in French or do the same thing, right click, translate, and it translates to French. Save. Now he selects automatically, OK, OK. So now we can see the function holding the ID of the multi-language text. Don't forget that you can change this just by putting the cursor above the function's name and press F2. Although only the ID is displayed when editing, after saving the action, you'll see the corresponding text in the current language of the project, which is, of course, in English. Another way to translate the project is through Tools, Translation, Translate. 
Here, you can see all the multi-language items and translate them all at once. Notice at the end, even the multi-language items are displayed. So all you have to do now is choose the source language, in our case English, and press online translation. And the translation will be uh, over the um, translation engine that you've defined it in your preferences. I'm going to press it. So if the translation isn't quite what you want, you can always edit the value. So let's search for something here. So for instance, logout. Let us say that I want this as the connecti, for example. And now the good news is I don't need to do this any anymore. I can just right click and say replicate the translation. So if logout appears somewhere else, it would be translated to the connecti. When you're done, press save and cancel to exit. Now that our project is translated, we need to give the user the ability to choose the language he wants. For that, I'm going to create a combo box under the login interface. So, drag the combo, call it language, and in the content, you can simply press the load options button and select project languages. Calypso loads the project languages as predefined options, setting the return value as the ID of the language for Calypso. Don't forget to select at beginning and save. Let's just adjust the position. So let's now manage the language change. Let's start by displaying the current language. In the opening of the form, just select Get Language and specify that the target is the combo. Finally, in the combo itself, when the user selects another language, we need to set language. dynamically to the value returned by the combo. If you expand again the language, you can see English as code 1, French as code 2, the exact same values that Calypso loaded into the combo as returned values. Save. And you need to restart your application. You need to restart Calypso and tell him to reload your application. You need to do that because only the forms opened after the set language will be in the new language. So call restart Calypso and tell him to open project name. So the keyword that returns the name of the project. If you want, you can also warn the user that you are going to restart the project. Before restarting, do a message box. Don't forget to use the multi-language text function. You can just type it in, press F2. We need a new one. Add, let's say, application. We'll restart now. Right click, translate. Can collapse this and don't forget this message box since it comes after the set language it will be displayed in the language that the user define it so save and let's try it out so it displays English which is the default language and if we select French 
we see the French message. We say, OK, Calypso restarts. Let me pull the designer. No need to pull it down. So we say, OK. And as you can see, it doesn't even fit. So you need to be aware of the lengths of the values in several languages. But as you can see, it's now in English. If you want, put it back in English. See the English message. It restarts and opens the English interface. Congratulations! You've concluded the tutorial about multi-language.